Okay, so I've got my uh, as existing drawing uh, fairly well complete, uh, and so now I want to set up a uh, demolition plan and change the the formatting of those elements so they're ready for the design drawing as well. And so you can see here a really good example of the formatting you should have when you're showing the new work and, and the existing together. So you've got the existing there hatched in black and only the new work hatched with the materials showing in the, uh, in the cut section. So here you can see this is an as existing drawing, we've shown the materials as they are, but it's really important that there's uh, no hatching for those materials uh, in our proposed drawing and also um, in the de demolition plan really you shouldn't show it either. So I'm going to simply select the area that I want. So just making sure I get that. And I'm going to copy it all across to one side. It's probably a good idea to keep that in line if I need to project across to that later. If it's in a straight line it makes things much easier. And then I'm going to go into my layers and make a new layer. Called demolition. And I'm going to change the line type. So there, I haven't actually loaded any line types into this file yet, so I'm going to go to load. And then scroll down and use the dash line type. Now, when you're choosing line types, if you haven't done much with these before, don't use the ISO line types. It's better just to use the ones that have the, the name without ISO. So dashed, hidden and so on, as opposed to ACAD ISO, whatever the numbers are, and it does tell you what they are. These work, but you need to use different scaling with those. So I'm just going to use the ones that don't have ACAD ISO in the name. So here dashed is what I'm going to use. And then even after you load it, you need to select it again before you click OK. And so you can see then that's assigned to this layer. And I'm going to change the colour there, which is something that's a bit easier to see. And the line weight, I'll make a medium, say so 0.25 or something. I'm going to make that the current layer. And then I can select all of these elements here. Yes, and try changing them to my demolition layer. But you can see that the line type isn't all that clear. Now, the line type's been set, and I'm going to prove that to you if I go and draw a line. It is dashed. But this is using the scale that we've set here. And so, if you've ever had trouble getting line types to show, dashed lines and other different line types you can use in AutoCAD, it's usually an issue to do with scale. So if I go to 1 to 20, and then type RE, enter, and that will do a regen. So you can see now the line types set up from 1 to 20 are much clearer. But I'd probably not want this demolition plan to be 1 to 20. I probably do want it to be at least 1 to 50. So I'll do RE again, and it's back to what I had it. So the problem here is that these windows have lots of short lines. So I need to either set a different line type scale to those lines, which is always an option. If you select any object in AutoCAD, right-click and go to Properties, and then you can see the line type scale there which you can use to override individual objects. And sometimes that's helpful for small things. But in this case, it's probably better to use a different dashed line. So if I go now back to the layers and choose dashed, this is really why you use layers, so you can just change things globally. So now I'm going to load another one, and you'll see there are other dashed lines that have a smaller pattern. So dash 2 is a half-size dash. 
not dash x2 but dash 2 dashed 2 okay so again common mistake here is to not select it after you've loaded it so then now I've selected it click OK there's dash 2 set to my layer and if I close this now I can see those lines a bit clearer so I'm just going to put the rest of these lines onto my layer if you've used a block it's probably easiest just to explode that okay so you may be removing windows or other things just make sure you put those onto the same layer uh, the door there again maybe is being removed and in my case I've made a block so I'm going to select it and then I can just use explode and then change that all to demolition layer that one. Okay now the other elements uh, can all go onto uh, one layer. So I'm going to go back to layers and just make a new layer called existing. And again this can be any colour just so that you can see it clearly on the screen. I like to use a bluish sort of colour just because I'm used to it. And so, well, I'll make it a bit lighter just so you can see it on the projector. And I'll have it a little bit darker than that. And just continuous line type. And then the, the line weight, uh, you can have that a little bit lighter. So 0.18, something like that. It's usually good. And I'll make it the current layer. Okay, so then I can go to the um, demolition layer and we'll just turn that off. So I don't select anything there. And now I can just select all of these objects and put them onto existing. But you can see there are a few doors that I need to explode first. Now you probably won't have as many as me, but uh, you hopefully have done some blocks. So just make sure you explode those. It's easier than redefining the block. So now I'm just going to show you a little trick you can use to select all of your hatches. And that should be plenty for today. So if I select, well I'll just select the whole thing with a window. Right click, go to properties. And then if I go and click on the down arrow um, in the properties panel at the top, I can then go to hatch. So then we can use the uh, quick select option and so just choose hatch there from the object type and that should be it. If I click OK, there we are. That's just selected the hatches. So that's basically using a quick filter. And then now I'm going to um, just so get rid of that properties panel and then I can just choose solid over here. Press escape. So that's a really quick and easy way of changing all your hatches even if you've used different patterns. So I had a few different patterns there. And then I'll turn the devil from the layer back on. Okay, so you'll probably be demolishing a few other things. Maybe windows particularly but it should be basically the same process so it's that easy and uh, that's a really important drawing to show clearly what's being demolished and uh, and also make it clear then what's existing and so then it's optional you can either uh, copy this across and just remove the uh, demolition elements and draw in your new design elements or you can try using layers and uh, freezing this layer for demolition in, in one viewport and having it turned on in another one. So it's up to you, but I'm going to do it in the simpler way and just copy the drawing across. And that means I'll have to work out demolition a little bit more uh, in advance, but uh, otherwise uh, that's, that's pretty much done for the, exist, uh, for the uh, demolition. So once I've done the other demolition, 
to make it clear, I can copy that across. Again, to one side. So you're going to have a couple of versions of your floor plan, along with the one you did previously. And just make sure you set those up on sheets. So I can uh, duplicate sheets as well if you use move or copy when you right click on a tab. Tick create a copy, choose the layout you want it to go above. So you don't need to always choose move to end, I'm going to choose layout 2 here. Click OK. Click on my new layout. Double click to bring up the, or open the viewport. And I'll show you just one last command. Dash pan. It's one of those little secrets in AutoCAD. If you use a pan with the middle mouse button, holding it down so you get the hand there to pan, it will definitely move across, but notice how it's difficult to control the vertical movement. So it's not necessarily moving straight across. I can bring it all the way. But by the time I get my plan there, which is all the way over here, it's not going to be in the same position as it was on the original sheet. So I'm going to undo that. And so there's my original plan. And with dash pan, you can click a point, and then if ortho's on, go across in a straight line. So I'm just going to press enter and just bring it across and I know then that at least it's going perfectly straight. Okay, still got a little way to go and I'll show you how you can do the um, horizontal uh, placement as well and make that perfect but we'll look at that later. So now as long as you can get the vertical placement correct and this might seem like a simple thing, or maybe you might not realise how useful it is, but trust me, this is a really useful um, thing to have in AutoCAD, being able to just pan in a straight line. It's annoying because pan always used to work like this in AutoCAD, and then when they changed it to the hand, you lost the ability to use also. But anyhow, there we go. So that's basically got... That looked like I had before, or maybe, I don't know. I'll leave it like that for now. Okay, so going back to the original. Oh yeah, so it was a bit further across, so I'll just do that by eye. So dash pan. And so here, that was about there. Okay, not far off, slightly off. So I'll show you how you can get the, um, the placement going the other direction uh, later on. But it's a really nice thing if you can have your files set up so that when you flick through the PDF files, the plans are all in exactly the same position. And, uh, and then it looks like things are being turned on and off and makes it really clear. So, so try to do that.